discrimination is the biggest problem in football today. It's everybody's responsibility, I think, to get rid of discrimination. It's against all my, my principles of, uh, of life. We have to listen more. We have to speak to the ones who are on the pitch and who feel discrimination firsthand. You could hear some, uh, you know, some monkey song, some monkey noise. If you're doing nothing about it, I think you're part of the problem. I want to know what a white man thinks about it. Not so much what I think about it as a black man. You get angry? Sexism definitely still exists in football. As a woman, every day I have to prove that I'm good enough. If I would have been a man, I would have kissed my girlfriend, and now I'm a woman, I also kiss my girlfriend. I mean, it should not be different. I struggle myself, only wearing the LGBT captain band, and I can't imagine how tough it is for gay people. Everybody knows if you come out as gay, it will have an effect on the dressing room. I'm a football player, and I was a refugee. What do you see here? Bullet holes. Look at them. Why is this refugee girl taking so many headlines? Because I'm kicking ass. If everybody were as outraged about racism, and if everybody was as outraged about homophobia, if everybody was as outraged about the lack of investment in the women's game, that would be the most inspiring thing. Thank <laughs> you.